Bro, actual. I'm just sitting here refreshing. Refresh. Refresh. Give me the news, man. Refresh. Oh, there it is. There it is. Let's watch. Let's watch. Pog. It is Lulu. Ah, it, it fucking is Lulu. Pleased to meet you. Hold up. Hold up. All right. All right. Three mana, two, three. I like this. I haven't even read it yet. So, okay. She is a support champion. Support my support that ally grows up to a 4-4. Four, four, so she's kind of getting the ulti this round. Yo, that's Pog. Our allies have been supported three plus times. Yo, that's Poggy. This is perfect because I wanted to replace Zed in my own uh, Targon deck. Yo, Lily, Lily looking Poggy as. So our allies have been supported three plus times. Does she even need to be on the field? And Yo, that's insane tempo. Guys, that's insane tempo. Whimsy. Yes! Yes! They are making her get a polymorph effect. Yes! Yes. But it's only for this round. That's quite well balanced. Whimsy. So transform so Squirrel's getting a key like not a keyword, but it's kind of like it's noted as a thing. Four mana burst speed spell, transform a follower into a 1-1 one, one squirrel and silence it this round. I kind of wish they would bring out more effects for champions. There's not enough interaction with champions. I don't understand why this keeps becoming a trend. So 4 mana whimsy, transform a follower into a 1-1 one, one squirrel and silence it this round. Okay, it's good with challenges, right? Like, the fact that you can't use it on followers is kind of a disappoint- Ah, uh, champions is disappointing. Why is the silence keyword relevant there, though? Someone's been practicing their adorable spells, just like you showed me, Lulu. That's insane tempo. She's leveling up. All right. So round start, creating- Create a fleeting help picks in hand support. My supporter ally grows to, grows to a 5-5. Five five. Okay. What is the help picks? Give an ally a barrier or an enemy vulnerable this round. Can't be cast in combat or response to a spell. Good in the attacking again. At one mana. It's got the, like the little symbol, like it can't be cast at certain times too. Oh yeah, this is definitely replacing Zed now, in some decks. Yo, that's Pog! That's Pog. Lulu looks dope. All right, so we do have a couple more cards here. We can quickly have a look at two. Uh, firstly, I will mention already, I think Lulu has great potential. This is a really strong support card. Her utility is insane, suitable for what Lulu does. And they really nailed the uh, the theme of her. And I'm glad they're bringing in like the whimsy. That's incredible. She's getting the whimsy. That's so cool. I think that's going to be like a really interesting card to play with. It does kind of work as removal too, guys. And it's like comboing, comboing it with other cards too is pretty nutty. But just in general, it's uh, Lulu's whimsy seems pretty good. I'm disappointed that there's no interaction with champions though. Um, that makes it kind of weaker, right? So we can't really rate it too highly. Lulu seems really good. The help pixie that you get at the start of each round on Lulu once Lulu is flipped is pretty crazy. I think I need to know if Lulu has to be on the field when our allies have been supported three plus times because if not makes her very strong as you can see here we have the squirrel which i don't think is a playable card we have the picks too so it's a one mana zero one give my supported ally plus two plus one this round it's a one mana support card <laughs> i didn't think we'd see something like that uh i don't think you'd play picks in many decks i don't think there'd be a need for it if there's cards that generate random support cards then picks kind of gets Okay, as finding here and there. We have the three uh, Fey Guide. Four mana, three, three. Play, grant an ally elusive. Grant is the keyword here. 
I don't think there's much use for that. It kind of reminds me of Yordle Grifter where it's like sometimes you play in a deck where you want to be going elusive, but it also grants you a body too. Maybe Fae Guide's not a bad of a card. It reminds me very similar to Yordle Grifter in what it kind of does. And then we have the Startled Stomper, 2 mana 2-3 two, with Overwhelm. That's kind of very average, probably not going to be seen playing much. Uh, the Overwhelm's not worth kind of what you get from this card. Overall, some pretty decent cards here. Obviously, Lulu's the highlight today. I think she has huge potential, and I look forward to actually replacing Zed in some of my deck lists that I've got currently building. Super psyched to see Lulu, like, as a 3-mana card too, as a 3-mana champion. It's going to really help fill out some curves in support decks too. Yeah, really incredible. Uh, really, really incredible. All right, you guys know the drill. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you're new here, come back, check out some more of the reviews as I react to these uh, new cards as they come out and get involved. Jump down in the comments. I'll be lurking, responding to all the comments, seeing what you guys have to say about these cards. I get super excited about it. So if, if you have any questions too or something that might be confusing, maybe I can answer it though. I do want to find out what the deal is with Lulu in terms of does she need to be on the field? Because by the way the wording looks, I don't think she has to be on the field, which makes her very, very crazy. Anyway, guys, you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time.